In this video, we're going to use double angle formulas to solve a multi-angle equation. So we're going to solve 2 times the cosine of x plus the sine of 2x equals 0. So we're going to begin by rewriting the equation so that it involves functions of x rather than 2x. So to do that, we're going to need the double angle formula for a sine, which is going to give us 2 times the cosine of x plus 2 times the sine of x times cosine x equals 0. Here we've got two terms, and we see that they each have a 2 times the cosine of x. And so we can go ahead and we can factor that out. When we do that, that gives us 2 times the cosine of x times the quantity 1 plus the sine of x equals 0. From here, we can use the zero product property to separate our two pieces and set them each equal to 0, which gives us 2 times the cosine of x equals 0 and 1 plus the sine of x equals 0. So with our equation on the left-hand side, we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so that we can isolate the cosine of x. And when we do that, we see that the cosine of x equals 0. For the equation on the right-hand side, we're going to go ahead and subtract 1 from each side. And we're going to see that that's going to give us that the sine of x equals negative 1. So we want to know where does the cosine of x equal 0 and where does the sine of x equal negative 1. So looking at a unit circle could be really helpful here. So looking at our unit circle, we want to know where's the cosine of x equals 0. So we want to look at where all of the x values are 0. And that occurs in two places. That occurs here at pi over 2, and that occurs here at 3 pi over 2. So we can say that here x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now on the right hand side, we want to know where is the sine of x equal negative 1. And sine is the y value. So we want to know where is the y a negative 1. And we see that that only occurs at one place, which is right here at again 3 pi over 2. So we see that our answer here is that x equals 3 pi over 2. Notice that for both cosine and sine, we were told that our answer was 3 pi over 2. We don't need to write that answer twice. We only need to write that one time. And because we weren't given an interval, we need to write this in general form. So here we'll say that x equals pi over 2 plus 2n pi to represent that this occurs every period and that x equals a 3 pi over 2 plus 2n pi to represent that this solution also occurs in the same place every period. So here we have our solution.